One thing I am persuaded, that in each of our countries, the public at large wants to achieve a smaller government, a less intrusive government, more control over their own lives. The problem isn't the will. The problem is translating that will into an effective political mechanism for achieving those objectives. The Pacific Institute of San Francisco, in addition to its successful book program, arranged testimonial dinners for Milton Friedman and for J. Peter Grace. If I have an argument with Tip O'Neill, and I've had many, and I says, Tip, don't add that extra book. And he says, absolutely, we're going to add it. So then I say, where are you going to get it, Tip? We'll get Don Regan to borrow it. Okay, where does he get the interest? Borrow that. Where does he get the interest on the interest? Borrow that. But what happens next year, Tip? Hernando de Soto and his Institute for Liberty and Democracy in Peru are acquiring international fame, according to the Washington Post and the Los Angeles Times, for their research on the cause and cure of underground economies. And the London Center for Research into Communist Economies has exposed the flaws in Karl Marx's theory in the book Marxian Utopia by a Yugoslav author and reviewed in the London Times. Millions of people have emigrated to our country seeking freedom and opportunity. It is the purpose of Atlas to preserve that freedom and opportunity for future generations. Certainly that is a legacy worthy of our support. Join us in making democracy work. Thank you.